somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks it is time for the season finale of house of the dragon and we have many dragons with new riders i'm really hoping my uh my new favorite dragon rider i'm just gonna call him triple h uh <laughs> hugh there i'm hoping oh. to see some more out of him but uh look i'm just looking forward to the big finale oh this has been a great season so far i'm definitely ready willing to, be able to see how they end this season and set us up for the next as was pointed out they approved the season three before season two even started i believe is yeah. what was pointed out to us in the comments yeah so sorry but hey ready willing, and able for this ride to go yeah this season has delivered so much excitement so much backstabbing twists turns and of course dragons so i can't wait to see how they wrap it up all right without further ado then let's go hey look at him just walking around those very stables and sculleries are carved into a mountain of gold and we will need it before this war is done Break the blockade and it will benefit you. Do you think that we lack for buyers for our tapestries and perfumes? We sell where we please. Blockade or no, Essos is as rich as it is vast. It seems you need us more than we need. Ooh, don't want to be in that situation. We will impose a simple tax on those passing through. Recoup the losses we took fighting the Valarian horde. Extortion. You will drive up the price of basic goods. It is better than starving. A fleet of warships there. Sailing at your command, they would break the blockade mm. and hold the passage. Well, taxes don't last forever, so I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Regent, they have me hanged for this. With the armada we send now, you can topple the Prince Regent and sit the Ooh. Iron Throne yourself. <laughs> of course, there is one more. Can Always when you're Always. leaving. Well met, Lord Tywin. It's Tylen. What sort of man are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am the master of ships at King's Landing. You're thin. <laughs> but also tall. <laughs> I will not sail with a man who cannot best me. Mm, wow. Mm. At, at what? <laughs> I predict a romance with these two. No! Oh, holy shit! The, the heat waves coming off. Oh, them off. Oh. Oh, did he? Is this a second lap? So he already came through and. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, must be. God, look at that on his eye. Some wrong what you can miss. Oh, Chris. Just a little. Or a lot. <sighs> Oak's favorite Ugh. guy, ladies and gentlemen. I must ask you, Your Grace, to steal yourself. We must leave King's Landing quickly, and we will not return for some time. What? The Pretender has found three new riders for her dragons. The Pretender. Three. You brother thought the same. He flew to challenge her and was rebuffed. Fled in terror, from what I hear. <laughs> oh, and so he took it out on that town. Be that as it may, he has gone in fury to Sharp Point mm -hmm. and laid waste to the whole of the town. Take me to my throne, and once he returns, I shall take him prisoner. Well then, Ooh. I have, over the years, in anticipation of little bumps in the road, moved the greater part of Aaron Moore's gold reserves to the Iron Bank in Bravos. Oh. And remain until what is coming has passed. <laughs> He's not gonna like retreating. To live with the goat fuckers. It's best to live, I think. However you do it. Is it? My dragon is dead. Oh! Let your brother and the pretender destroy themselves in blood and bitterness when they are spent and their armies in tatters. We will return. I can't even piss without it running down my leg. They will be tired of endless deprivation. He ain't fear. into it, Laris. No. They will hail the returning king. 
It's almost seeming like he's given up. Mm -hmm. They're gone the peacemaker. They're gone the rebuilder. <laughs> he just keeps trying. Mm -hmm. A lot of adjectives were thrown out here. They're gone the realm's delight. Uh, uh. So, Eamon oh. gets mad and sets the whole city on fire. Yep. Oh, yeah. People are going to love him. Dragon searching. And she finally got some water. This is more like it, you. Don't you think? I'm meant to be at the training yard learning. Oh, no. What's Jace up to? My pleasure after so long. I may never eat fish again. What are you doing here? Remove your feet from the table. <laughs> Ulf, it's not up to you. Ulf. Who's it up to then? Boy. Ooh. Sarah's Valaria. Prince Jocerus Valarian. Right here. Who'd have thought it? He lives here. <laughs> I'll have an apology from you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hair. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let them tell us we don't have Targaryen blood, eh? My mother is the queen. Dragon riders both. You and I. Oh, he's not going to oh, like that. Oh, man. The so-called Prince Regent has burned Sharp Point down to its stones. Thousands of its folk, dead or lost, is harbour in ashes. Will you prepare to face such an enemy? Or will you stay here and make yourself easy? If you hinder our efforts through sloth or unreadiness, I will see you hanged and your body fed to the dogs in the street. I, I meant no disrespect, my prince. Give him a little yeah. shot as he was walking by. I cannot erase my doubts. We know little of who they are and what is the strength of their character. Adam of Hull, at least, is known to you. He's a shipwright in my employ, and it is reported to me that he is a man of integrity. I've had little to do with him, to my regret. Oh. But the beasts have been claimed. You now have a great advantage. You must strike quickly while the Prince Regent mulls his next action. I had hoped my advantage may be in deterrence. Vagar has ever been our foremost threat, and she is now overmatched. Vagar is not his only dragon. The third brother is untested. He's never left Old Town. And his dragon is younger than Vermouth. But a dragon nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Helena. She does not ride. She has no taste for it. She may yet be compelled. And her dragon... Dreamfire. Hatched when the Conqueror was king. She is formidable. Still, Helena is no warrior. Well... How goes the sea snake? Better than you. We'll rejoin the blockade on the morrow. Let our foes beware, be they Lannister or Greyjoy. But my ship is no longer the Sea Snake. She was a testament to my own glory. I've given her a new name. Oh, that's bad luck oh. renaming a ship. Your Grace, you are ready. You have six dragons under your banner. My ships sail at your command, and my men serve you. But the Lannisters are marching, and the High Towers from Old Town. You must crush this beast at its head, and before too many days have flown. There is, of course, another player that is yet to be revealed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Seems the sheep on our land has been sold up river. My vassals have sent a drove of swine instead. Dragons do eat pig, I assume. Cracked prefers them. How goes your master? We'll be ready to march in two days' time. See to those pigs at once, Your Grace. Your Grace. Sir Alfred Broom has come to see you. <laughs> <laughs> an emissary from the Queen to ascertain your movements and your intentions. You've arrived just in time to see my new army, Broom. What do you think of it? It's very large. <laughs> Lannister hesitates. I aim to march on King's Landing before he can catch me. May I have a word in private, Your Grace? Oh, well, Damon's in a good mood. Yeah. He's got his army now. Yeah. I will never serve the usurpers or the whelps of Old Town. But there are battles to be fought. And in times like this... Oh. If you declare yourself, your lords will follow you. I never took you for a turn cloak, Sir Alfred. Rhaenyra's intentions are good. But what we need in this moment is a king. Wow. Laying it on. The subtitles helped us out these. Whispered traitor. Traitor. Something they're talking about. 
This will hinder the work of the fishing boats. The people depend on them for sustenance. They will need no sustenance if they are slaughtered by the enemy. We must all make our sacrifices. Ooh. She just made it worse. They're unhappy. And unhappy people oh, look for someone to hate. Back. She wasn't sure she was ever going to return to the castle. But we are the crowns. They expect us to break it. Drink this. I was happier before I was queen. What would you think about leaving this place? Where would I go? Hold that thought. <laughs> the Prince Regent, Your Grace. Helena, there you are. Ugh. Mother. <laughs> Mother. I need you to fly with Dreamfire to battle. And I do not wish to fight. Our wishes must take second place now to what is necessary to preserve the throne. Oh boy. It isn't a question. Amen. They have defiled our birthright, I made commoners into dragon Amen. lords. Amen. It is a sin and must be punished. May I remind you, your sister Ooh. is still the queen. As you were once. <laughs> and you see now what is the consequence of your weakness. We are in peril today more than yesterday. The peril that moved you to burn the town of Sharkpoint. Peril or basis fury at your own humiliation. Oh. oh. The seven kingdoms, but you rain ruin and death upon its small folk when you've been insulted. Because it makes you feel strong. And now you seek to corrupt your sister, of all our line, the gentlest and most deserving of your protection. Who will protect her if she cannot protect us? And who will she be if her mind is broken? It is no longer our rule that is threatened. Very lives, would you not have us prevail? Not like this. Not like this. Oh, throwing it right back in his face about uh, being humiliated. You know, when she talked about leaving, I mean, I realize this is a long shot, guys, but do you see her? Are those two going over to Rhaenyra? Seeking, I could see it. Seeking safety or something? I mean... I must again request your assistance. I need passage in your discretion. <sighs> Quinn throwing, uh, throwing uh, it. Apologies if that's a long shot. It makes no sense to anybody who's read the books, but that was just the vibe I got there. I don't think it is at all. Do you think nothing of your oath, Lord Commander? I think of nothing else, my lord. Steward's son, from dawn... King, the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Ooh. She has broken no oath for all I may have done. I could send you to the war. You could. Stay in the High Tower name for a generation. King's mother in his hand. She is my sister. She saved my life. Twice. Once from the headsman's axe and once from myself. Well, yeah, remember? Yep. Zuma. Since then, she has been the beacon I follow. All right, the guy's guy like, in the All right, I'll get, yeah, I'll get like, back to cleaning. Or rather, my philosophy was this. To protect the righteous and dispense justice on the rest. But now... You saw what I saw. The dragons dance and men are like dust under their feet. Mm -hmm. And all our fine thoughts, all our endeavors are as nothing. We march now toward our annihilation. To die will be a kind of relief. Anything. So he never looked at it that way. Yeah, ever since that fight, he's Kristen has been mm -hmm. totally different just because he realizes that he's useless. Really. Yeah, it's like compared to a dragon, what's even the point? You know, sending all these men in for nothing but cannon fodder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Some mud wrestling. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, I thought it was going to be a belly to back suplex. I'm telling you, there's going to be some lerve with these two. Oh, oh. just getting worked. Maybe some tough ones. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're all laughing. Oh. oh, dude, it's time to fight dirty. Oh, oh. oh. got it. Throw some mud in the eye or something. <laughs> <laughs> Is she gonna give him? Oh, oh, there you go. I thought Sweep she the leg. Thought she was gonna give him the old spike. Oh. She's gonna be in love. Watch some weird thing. You have impressed me, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. King's Landing has sent a most doughty ambassador. <laughs> doughty. Doughty. You will testify to the worth of the ambassador by agreeing to his most humble request. I will most certainly consider it. 
<laughs> These poor actors. <laughs> oh, you're no kidding. <clears throat> have you ever eaten the flesh of your enemies? I have not, and I would not. So you reject the hospitality of my house? Whoops. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What do you take me for? <laughs> Get back, you savages! <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I would... Yeah, the first question these two actors I would just ask is like, that, like, that had to be rough, because yeah. usually it's cold when they do that, and they're wet. The son of the rightful queen, and here you are sulking, because you believe that if not for the dragon or the trappings of your station, that you are nothing. Do you believe that you are the first noble heir who was not sired by his noble father? Such is the way of the world, Jace, and in resenting it, you only diminish yourself. Easy enough to say. I've heard the whispers the whole of my life. Then prove to them that you are worthy. Get up and take your place by your mother's side. Wow, talk about a voice of reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stop well, sulking, yeah. bruv. Like, dude, <laughs> you have an important job to yeah, do she here. She just came in there and kicked him right in the ass, yeah, basically. <laughs> Oh, somebody needs new boots. Well, she's been walking for a while to try and find, find that, that dragon. Wild dragon. Maybe the dragon will see she's Here cold. Come, my lads, my oh. comely boys, and split your sack. What would the deep say? For you'll be sailing, sailing many days before you get some more. So grease the mast and send it up betwixt the wind and water. Hoist me, lads, and hoist again. Salute the captain's daughter. <laughs> well done, Lord Tyrod. Lord Tyrod. Uh, what a voice. <laughs> it's like so hot in this Good element. song. Mm -hmm. Well Very. delivered. <laughs> well delivered. <laughs> so I'm going to say when Quinn sings next time. Well delivered. You have proven yourself most accommodating and more accomplished than one would think to look at you. <laughs> uh, thanks? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Thank you. I will be pleased to sail at your side. Oh, she uh -oh. is in love. You can cut the tension with a knife. To the gullet on the morrow! <laughs> and let the sea snake rue the day we meet again. Uh, oh, rue the day, the day. Oh, rue. Back. <laughs> You'll rue the day. My king will be well pleased to friendship. <laughs> Way to add to it. Yeah. To friendship. You are a handsome man, and you have proven your worth and virility. <laughs> I wish to have children by you. <laughs> death, by, death by snoo snoo. <laughs> you want me to? Indeed. Well, she's not beating around the bush, that's no. for sure. I want you to fuck my wives. Wait, what? Hmm? How many words do you have? Didn't see that coming. Oh. The more wine here. Oh, jeez, Ulf. Taming a dragon's thirsty work. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, and some more of these little birds. They're all going to be upset by him big time. To our new riders, the three of you are not of noble birth, but you have done a thing never dreamed of before now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of tension going on around this table. Learn your beasts and your commands. You will fly in two days' time. The strongholds of the usurper, Old Town and Lannisport, and their armies all must be subdued. Alone without allies, you will have no choice but to surrender. You wish for us to kill innocent. Of so many. It is hard, but it cannot be helped. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about Vega? She is fearsome, but she is one dragon. The Prince Regent cannot defend against all of us. I'll take him on myself. Silver wings ago as she is. We're afraid of nothing, <laughs> even if you are. There will be time enough to see which one of us is a coward. I said more of these little birds. A knight will comport himself with grace at the queen's table. Best make me a knight then. 
<laughs> oh my god, Ulf. <laughs> <laughs> Sense of humor, do you all good? We're, t- we're dude, talking dude about attacking. A sword back yeah. there. We're talking about you know what's going on and trying to end a needless a war. You're joking. Price. That's why they don't have a sense of humor. Oh it's boy, not a good dice. message from Heron Hall either. The Castellan, Sir Simon Strong. Damon has raised his army, but Sir Simon fears treachery. I will not allow it. Adam, come with me. Oh, uh, Jace is Jace. not happy. He has to remember, though, too, that those guys are more expendable than what Yeah, Jace how is. she sees Jace, yeah. Because she already lost one son. Yep. Oh, what would we get here? Is that Alice? Is that Alice? Or is it? Mm-hmm. No, nope. okay. I wasn't sure if it was that or if it was his brother again. Do you never sleep, witch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the God's Wood. Why is she crying? Not exactly Damon's favorite place here. No. It's like he told Simon, it makes you howl at the moon. Oh, what? what the? What the hell is that? Do you wish then to learn what is given to you? All your life you have sought to command your own fate, but today you are ready. There's the face. Oh. What the f- Oh, oh, he's, he's seen it. Raven. He just saw it. Oh, what? Is he like Bran? He, he's seeing the whole friggin' battle. At... He's seeing the whole friggin' thing. What is this? He, you saw the White Walker, right? Or were you looking away? <laughs> okay, well, I said no because you said something. I thought you'd pop for it bigger. I said, is he like Bran? He can see yeah. through the, the eye of the raven. Yeah. And he sees her on the throne. It's all a story. And you're but one part in it. You know your part. I cannot believe what they just showed us. You know what you must do. Oh, wow. Come with me to Harrenhal. We will lay waste to Damon and his army. Let our enemy see that we will answer outrage with outrage. And if I refuse, will you burn me as you did Aegon? Oh. Oh. It's been pretty obvious to her. Snap. I, I saw it. You burned him. And you let him fall. How did she see it? She have... A- she have a gift as well, or do we miss something? Is that why? She, is that why she was in, in, in Damon's, Damon's dream? dream? Yeah. He's yet to see victory. <clears throat> he sits on a wooden throne, and you, you'll be dead. Whoa! The gods eye, and you are never seen again. I could have you killed. It wouldn't change anything. <laughs> She's got the gift. Okay, so we got uh, Arena and Sir Adam. Oh, he's flying to Heron Hall. Yeah, they're all, you know, they don't know what side yeah. the, the really, dragons are on. Can we put a banner on their tail <laughs> or something so we can know who is who? I am the Castellan Sir Simon Strong, Your Grace. Well met. Welcome to Heron Hall. My queen, I did not think to see you here yourself. Message gave me much concern. Yes, I must admit I had reason to fear. But come see for yourself. Sea smoke just hovering all the yeah. mm-hmm. fire up there. Yep. Keep an eye on things. Oh. 
Damon's been telling everybody it's in service of the queen. This makes yeah. things pretty interesting, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Here, he, Here comes. he comes. How is how is this gonna go? I think a nice warm embrace. Well, I mean, after what he saw. I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> I see you have done well here. They are sworn to me, and not a moment too soon. And to whom are you sworn? Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's wondering, is he going to say it? <laughs> really? In front of all these people? Bruce on tap, Tilly Filipasma, Kesu, Pranon, Marisa. Solar harnesses. Ho, 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 winter is coming. Oh. The realm's only hope is a leader who can unite it, and my brother chose you. Boy, did his Boy, vision... Oh, the old bend in the oh, knee! There yeah, it is! There we go! Holy shit! Well, I mean, he saw the vision. He knows there's a greater threat, just like he was saying. You are the true queen, Rhaenyra. First of our name... Protector of the realm, I am meant to serve you, and all of these with me, until death or the end of our story. Holy shit. Wow, wow this is the most clarity. He's, you know, that's the yeah. thing. Is he's been so messed up the whole time he was there, and then he's out at that tree, and now it's like he just sees razor everything. focus clarity. Yep. Oh, he didn't expect <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he didn't see what he went through last night at the tree. Where... Yeah. Uh, by the way, we got a few more dragon <laughs> riders, if you haven't heard. In the early Cridrujas, Sipar Morolias. First smile. No que cost on Davor. Silutan. We almost got a smile out of her there. Oh, oh a little, yeah. little too soon to lean in for the kiss, though. A little too soon. We fight for our queen. Yeah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, everything worked out as planned. Oh, look at that. Oh. Anchors away. What do you think that her ways? Gallagher over here with his sledgematic. <laughs> you have been given a position to which all who serve here aspire. Forgive me, my lord. I will endeavor to improve myself. Oof. He just. I am trying to help you. You want to help me? Acknowledge him. Do you know what it was like for us to grow up fatherless? Here we go. Now you wish to suddenly to scatter the crumbs of your favor. I am an honorable man and I will serve you because I must. But if it is all the same, I will decline any offers of help. What a, Ooh, what a delivery. Yeah, Alan crushed this. I'll continue as I began. Alone. Oh, look at him clenching his yeah. fist on his left hand. Like the other one was kind of like going like this. But yeah, he was. Oh. Oh. Come on, she's got to find the yeah. dragon. Come on. I mean, I know we really liked the last episode because of the dragons and everything, but this mm -hmm. episode is crushing so far. <gasps> there she is. First time we've seen her this episode, we gotta see what she's got to say. Come. Begging your pardon, Your Grace. Oh boy. Oh, who's it gonna be? Yup. Hey. I knew it! Good call. Who knows? None save my protector. He laid down his sword at your gate. So here's the problem. So my we have this guy. We have this guy, Eamon. He's a little wacky. I've been alone of late. I walked outside the walls of the city, and I felt a weight lifted from me. How lovely for you! I thought. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the <laughs> is just killing it. He never stopped loving your mother, you know. 
He was very fond of me and I of him, but she was the vision that sustained him. Even after she herself had slipped from his grasp, it was his love for her that kept him resolute in his choice of her. And yet you believe he wavered at the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You realize all of this is because of you, Alicent. Mm. All of it. If I am to take the throne, I must put an end to the opposition. I must take Egon's head. And I have to do it for all to see. You know this. However you may try to evade it, you know this. <sighs> Choose. Oh, oh wow. <sighs> Life of thousands or her own son. Will you shrink from what you set out to do? Or will you see it through and make your sacrifice? Oh, wow. She can't sacrifice her own son. A son for a son. Oh, I knew that was coming back. Yep. I have neither weapon nor armor. My life itself is forfeit. I cast myself on the mercy of a friend who once loved me. History will paint you a villain. A cold queen, grasping for power and then defeated. Let them think what they must. I am at last myself. Do you think she's well, doing With no ambition greater than to walk where I please and to breathe the open air, to die unremarked and unnoticed, and be free. I think she just doesn't want Cole to die in battle. Mm -hmm. I think she wants a lot of people to not die. My part is here. Whether I will or no, it was decided for me long ago. Wow, she's got to give up her own son to avoid everything. Oh, look at the look at the game getting suited up. Adam's getting ready to go. Everything he's ever wanted. <laughs> She's been running like the whole episode. Yeah. <laughs> running, looking for water, cold. Yeah. We saw her shoes yeah, were shivering. destroyed. Look at that <laughs> line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God. Not sure he ever got an answer to his question. It's a lot of so ships. Holy shit. Are we really going to be able to avoid this all out war with all these pieces already in place? Oh, look at the wings on that thing. All curled on the back. She finally found it, at least. Is that Otto? It is. Yeah. It is Otto. That boy yeah. Otto. Did he get locked up? Yeah, looks like. So we never really got a reveal on that, I yeah, don't Yeah, we think. never no, knew what happened to him. He was dismissed, up. and that was yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, there they are, Balin. So, so goes, with him gone, there, there goes, goes that plan. Well, you gotta if, give if it's advocated, that means uh, Amon. Amon is in charge. So once he's out of the picture, but how is she going to get his head? She's going to think that Alicent set her up. Uh -huh. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Noise. What, what an episode. What an episode. I've, wow. Wow. The the big things. What a season! Oh, what a yeah! <laughs> what, what a season. season! But I know we talked about, and I don't know if it'll make the cut about how much we loved the previous episode because of everything that was being set in motion. But for me, this is hands down, and and I guess it's to be expected, right? Usually the finale is kind of the best episode of the mm -hmm. season, but not always. But in this case, it absolutely was. We had so much going on. For me the biggest thing was Damon getting the reveal of what's to come and it completely changed him. He realized that there's something bigger than himself and for them to succeed, he has to bend the knee to Rhaenyra. So, and, and just accept his place as what he needs to do. So that was amazing seeing all those shots of game of Thrones and what, you know, we all know is eventually coming. Uh, that was awesome. And and by the way, Alice, what what a great job she did uh, this season, the actress who played her. Alice. Uh, 
or Allison uh, with Olivia. Olivia. Cook. Or no, I'm sorry, not no, not her. Uh, Alice, the, uh, the the one that Damon calls oh, the Alice witch. Rivers. Oh, the yeah, witch. Yeah, the oh, one that Alice Damon Rivers. calls the witch. Gail Rankin. Yeah, because uh, Gail, she did a phenomenal job. Just the way she was sitting there waiting for Damon, and I love that we got to see the arc that that Damon kind of went on this season. So that was so cool to finally get that reveal. And uh, speaking of the the kind of the futures and whatnot what i wonder is you know they kind of teased it a little bit but does queen helena have the gift of the vision because i mean unless she just put it together about what uh Aemon did to aegon in mm-hmm. in the battle I, I gotta believe she's she said flat out i saw, I saw it yeah. and that's saw. yeah and i don't know how else she would have seen it because she wasn't anywhere near the battle so does she have the gift now she appeared in damon's dream yep. so that's what makes me believe and again if i'm wrong folks all of you know from the original literature but that's what i think is that she has a, a gift as well that's why damon saw her in his vision uh so that was awesome uh I mean, Allison having to come to Rhaenyra essentially with her hat in her hand and be like, look, yeah. we, we've got to stop this. I was, you know, blinded by, well, everything she said. I don't need to re- <laughs> recoup it because I certainly can't do as good a job as Olivia Cook did. But <laughs> yeah. uh, just kind of realizing that these are the or snakes. Emma. Like all these people, all these innocent people, thousands of innocent people are going to pay the price for them not being able to to figure this out and put it together and was it Allison or Rhaenyra who got the story about the you know the story of fire and ice do you, do you guys remember which one of them that was oh. cuz i can't remember if if when Viserys when he was passing on uh, which one of them did he tell the story well to? he was telling it no he was telling it to uh Allison yeah. Allison yeah, Allison, that's right. Allison heard that Aegon. Aegon was, uh, you know, Aegon was, he, he was going to be the guy. Yeah. But he was referencing Aegon the Conqueror. Aegon the Conqueror is, from Fire and Ice. Okay, because right. I knew that, I, I knew that and somebody else knew the, kind of the story of what was coming, but I just, I couldn't remember. Because well, that's who what we was. got in the previous episode, or when we got in the episode when they were together, and um, Allison said, you know, he told me about the Song of Fire and Ice. And Aegon, and that he was the, yeah. the, the king yeah. to be, or yeah, well, I forget yeah. what the term is. And she's like, uh, "Yeah, that was Aegon the Conqueror in the story." Yep, uh, that's yeah. not what you heard. Not, not Aegon yeah. the son. But that was just that was just <laughs> so cool to see all of that stuff kind of come full circle, and for them to put it together. Uh, you know, so much to cover in this episode. The other big thing for me, uh, and because obviously I'm not going to you know talk about everything, but the interaction between uh, Alan and Carly's oh, yes. was We're gonna talk that was it. awesome because. Uh, like you said, you know, I mean, look, uh, Alan pretty much laid it out there. Hey, yes. it was almost to me to really put it in a nutshell. You didn't need us until you needed us. Mm-hmm. And now you're coming back to us offering these little uh, a pittance of what we should have had in our life. If you would have just I honestly thought he was going to say, I want you to acknowledge me. I really <laughs> I really thought that was coming. Mason I did. Quinn was just waiting. I was waiting for it. Up. I thought that was coming. But. What a performance uh, between uh, Steve oh. and the other actor. I, I don't know his name. I don't have it on oh. the screen here. Uh, but the the interaction between those two, between Coralie's and Alan, was was just an incredible. I just loved how he basically put Coralie's in his place, and nobody does that. Um, now, on the flip side to Coralie's, I think he had kind of an awakening a bit. He realized that it's not all about him. Awesome. He renamed his ship after Renice. So... Again, uh, everything is just in motion now. And we saw that at the end, that this is what I'm going to end with, is that all these forces are in motion. Everything is going to happen. Does it even matter if Rhaenyra comes in and uh, um, Aemon is gone and she essentially takes the throne? Is, is that even possible with all the players? Like, how do you call all this off? Like, hey, yeah. hey, guys, don't, don't yeah, attack. No kidding, especially you with know? everything that's being, No, I mean, granted, she From has, what we saw at the end, all those armies yeah, moving. And Rhaenyra has her dragon, so, you know, theoretically, you could spread word quickly if you had to, I suppose, but how are they going to know not to attack? It's just like, is this going to be something where it all goes down because of miscommunication and, and we weren't able to communicate what was supposed to happen? So... That's got me on pins and needles. And I think even if he did that, I don't think that's stopping him on. He's, no, he's, he's gonna, gonna keep have to going. Be taken out. Uh, Aegon's essentially hiding out of the picture with Laris, so she can't promise 
his head if it's not around. Nope. So who knows how that's going to play out. And I hope Reyna gets her new dragon. Because yes. I don't have, I can't pick that, sides. I know a lot of folks well, yeah. pick sides between green and black. I can't pick sides. I'm just here for the ride. So. Yeah, well, I'm here for the yeah. ride too. I mean, I'm mainly for the true queen but uh Rena, hopefully she finds because we saw the whole episode that's all she did was run around looking for the yeah. dragon and she finally finds it at the end so i'm hoping oh, it's the hand the confidence and then we get to see her swoop in but it's a uh, abupakar uh salim that is who uh plays uh Alan. Alan. oh yeah but he Awful. just did he just crush he that. was amazing at it because i mean and I want to touch on him too. Like, yeah, he was very resentful of, you know, what was going on because he had to see every day what his life could have been. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, and so he's had to do it all himself. So now that when his dad wants to offer him help, he's like, no, he doesn't want that help because yep. he's had to do it all himself his entire life. He does. He doesn't want the easy road since he hasn't had it his entire life. He doesn't want to keep that going on. Um, but yeah, like you're saying with Helena, like know your path is what she said to Damon yep. in that in that uh dream sequence where he saw everything dream, dream sequence <laughs> which you know you know okay I mean it I guess that's really what a, happened it wasn't really a dream guess, it was more like a vision a vision vision, yeah. Yeah. vision yeah. sequence there vision new t-shirt trademark that one uh but with that it was funny because like I even seen Game of Thrones so maybe maybe that just ruined the whole series for me the only thing I knew was I did like you guys popped a little harder than I did but the whole winter is coming I mean everyone knows the phrase the i would yeah, say term, and yeah. knows the Pop line culture. and i kind and i knew that the the soldier in the white i knew that was yeah, the white walkers, white walkers. Guys. yeah and because i've seen pictures and i mean usually the meme guy over there says he knows about the memes but i saw that meme <laughs> and i've heard of winter is coming so that was kind of fun to see what i'm looking forward to well i, I liked how you know he did honor his late wife with n n renaming sea snake but uh and then the coming back to a son for a son in this, yeah. which was great at the end because, I mean, a little miscommunication when that was said in episode one. And so <laughs> now, I can, but we know what happened at the end of the last episode of last season where one son was taken out. So now I can see why she said that and she said it with conviction. But like in the third, we're going into third season couple like amen i mean his back is against the wall back is against the wall he doesn't have the upper hand as we saw you know end of last episode beginning of this one so now he's going to be he's it's like they're backing him into a corner and he was always so confident the whole exactly. season oh, i know exactly what to do he 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 thought he knew everything and like and look at what happened when they when they put him in the corner he attacked this town and just burned it to just the stones like they said and so where is he going to be in this third season and then also we saw Otto oh, where is he where is he been? who put him there who, who is what coming is with going the torch? on like uh, and that's all they did is they showed what five seconds of him and yeah. uh, and I've been wondering where he was since he got dismissed because I'm sorry I, I'm such a huge uh Rays and fans fan so I wanted to see more of him, and I, he's awesome as Otto Hightower as well. So I wanted to see more of him, and we didn't get any of them the last, like, four episodes, and then we get five seconds. So ho hopefully we get to find out more about where he's been last up uh, King this whole season. King threw him in didn't want him to it, guess, it's gotta, yeah. It's got to be. So I am oh, – I'm on board. I've really, really fun season to watch, and, like – and I was thinking there was going to be this huge, big battle at yeah. the end of the episode, which there wasn't, which I think seemed fitting because it was what I was expecting and they didn't give me what I was expecting, which is good because then it sets up for the next season, especially when they showed, you know, Renera yeah. in the bottom of all those scrolls. She's symbolizing, like you said, I, it might, I don't know if it makes a cut, but symbolizing that she's just small piece yeah. of the whole story yeah and the one thing i want to say before we jump to you oak is that i don't think he's missing anything by not having seen game of thrones i think knowing you know some of the memes there's and a stuff, few easter I mean, eggs a and, a, bit, and a few things but that... i don't think it takes away from the story of no. house of dragon by you I, not having totally seen game of, thrones. game of thrones for me what what a series finale what a season as uh as a whole i mean just everything about this entire season um, from the, the writing to the performances, from all the actresses and actors, the visual effects, everything was phenomenal. And I mean, it's, it's so incredible the way 
they put everything together. Of course, you had great source material, right? right? George R.R. Like Martin. George R.R. R. Martin, great source material. But we've seen things in the past where, look, having great source material doesn't always mean that you get the best TV show or the best movie. I mean, look, there's always a lot of changes. Or I shouldn't say always a lot of changes, but we're used to seeing changes from books to TV. But, you know, from everything we've seen in the comments, the people are pretty happy overall that have read the books. Mm -hmm. And I just I just can't say enough. And, you know, when we look at the cast, it's not a lot of like super heavy Hollywood hitters. I mean, obviously you have very talented people, but it's it's so cool to come into a new show and have fresh new people and have them put on the kind of performances they did. Um, Emma the RC um, had two incredible scenes this particular show uh, with Damon and then of course with Allison. Of course Olivia Cook killed it all season with Allison. Um, I know you talked about it but uh, Sir Allen and mm -hmm. uh, the sea snake that yeah, was Corlins. a really yeah. that was a really powerful speech but I just can't say enough about the performances, uh, the special effects of the dragons. You know, we've seen the dragons in Game of Thrones, but this this second season, it wasn't just three dragons they needed to create. I mean, you had to create, you know, 10, 12, yeah. all these dragons, all the special effects, new they battles. They have differences. Yeah, yeah, I mean, giving them their own personality, person. yep. sounds, characteristics with their head, the wings, the bodies, and everything. So visually, the show was every bit as intense as it was just with the storyline. Um, as far as this particular episode, I thought it was really good. Of course, setting us up for season three, and we've talked about a few times where sometimes um, the second to last episode is usually like the big one, yep. and then the final either kind of puts a bow tie if it's a series finale or sets you up for the next season. So I think they did a great job with that. We got uh, our armies moving on the sea. We got our armies moving on the land. We got our dragons flying out. Um, so they're really, really setting us up for an incredible season three. I'm curious to see what happens um, with Aegon. Uh, Allison said he's gonna be there, yeah. and now he's no, gone. He's so is that? Uh, that's that, gonna that be Laris. Is, is, I think that's gonna be a big. Is Rhaenyra thing. gonna yeah. fly in, and people are gonna be like, "Oh, show yeah. of force," but he's not here. Or, or you could have it where the the people in the town are like, "Hey, our, our king bailed on us." Like, oh, right? You know, and maybe they'll embrace Rhaenyra because she was the one getting the food sent through, the food and everything. Know? Yeah, so um, look, uh, I, I loved all those scenes. We saw a very, uh, a very powerful performance also by uh, Queen Helena, basically telling mm -hmm. Damon, uh, "Look, I know what you did. Yeah, I, I saw it, which was cool." Um, so a really powerful performance by there. I loved the um, the vision sequence with Damon. Um, we weren't sure what direction he was going to go. He got yeah. a glimpse of the future, which. Uh, anybody who's seen Game of Thrones, obviously a little bit of fan service there. Yeah, yeah. That was that really was fun. Cool. It was a lot of fun. That was really cool. Ruined it for me. <laughs> but uh, no, and answer. I'm kidding. You're, you're going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to. Well, and, and as Mason yeah, Quinn said, this, yeah. this you know, um, look, this, this, if even if you never saw the Game of Thrones, I would highly recommend now going and watching them. But this particular. Um, you know, show season one and two. I think you could watch independent of having seen Game of Thrones mm -hmm. and and really enjoy it. Of course, I think you war. could um, watch them in either order, and I think you would find it just as enjoyable. Probably. Like, like I think if you watched House of Dragon, maybe to completion, however many seasons they do, and then went and watched Game well, of I th Thrones, I think, I think you could still. I, I I'm I'm going to disagree on that, and here's why: because I think if you watch Game of Thrones first. And you learn answer plug your ears <laughs> no nah, i'm good and you learn that there aren't any dragons then yeah. when you go you, back yeah, you, you've said you, that like yeah, every review I, so I, that's I, why i don't I need know, to plug my ears like, <laughs> and then you go back and you're watching it and there's all these dragons it creates like this this like anxiety like what, what happens to all the dragons? we know there's not any dragons left but there's so many dragons right now like what happens um but uh but yes but and i but i think you're right i think you could watch them interchangeably I just pref maybe it's because the way I watched it, um, I, I prefer uh, this particular uh, this particular order. But again, um, absolutely incredible. Look, these guys did a great job of diving into the plots. If you're watching this, you probably know all the storylines and everything. But the thing I'm most impressed with is just the overall production, the performances by everybody all the way across the board, and just the job that they did setting us up for season three. Um, to have two absolute banger seasons like this, and, and I, I, look, this this was awesome. I got to imagine that all the fans out there are just 
you know, buzzing and can't wait for the release date for season mm-hmm. three. I don't know if we had an actual <laughs> release date. Uh, the one I season. saw was 2026. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, well, but they're they're right around the corner. They're hoping it's maybe spring 2026 as opposed to summer or fall. Yeah. But we'll I could I it. could see I could see it being yep. like we gotta, a release like this of summer. We're gonna rate this season, folks. This one for me was a lot of fun. Like I say, we can have our fun uh, and kind of nitpick that first episode a little bit. Of, That's more on us. <laughs> well, Damon never actually said, <laughs> and, and I love the uh, the back and forth in the comments that a lot of folks had. But like, look, this series is an absolute monster uh it's like probably the number one show for a reason they have delivered uh with that being said however so i'm gonna go with a 4.75 only because you know season three is gonna be better so if i was to give this a five as total perfection uh there would be nowhere else to go so 475 there was a couple of things that had me questioning where i think my knowledge of not having read the books might have hindered me a little bit and i think i maybe would have had a little bit better understanding had i read the source material which apparently is about that thick um so that won't be happening anytime soon if i'm being honest but uh yeah so for me uh 4.75 a lot of fun cannot wait for the next season we are at war yeah is not a huge avid fan as you two are of like you know game of thrones and then that genre i give it well yeah i'll give it i'm not i wouldn't say that i won't go that far but i I gave it a 4.6 i you know a lot of things to like and love about this season and there wasn't very much to hate on it that's why it's a 4.6 but one of my favorite things they did was this episode is i thought the total war was coming now no they did a great uh, job they left the answer and hanging. not, yeah, they left and not well no i love the fact that they did do that i was fully expecting the last like 15 minutes being the start of the war and then that's where they or they you know they tease us with someone could probably be offed, and then they cut it there. Mm-hmm. Instead, no, they showed us everyone getting ready for the all battle, the all the pieces getting ready, and then boom, with that great shot with her in the time of, in the bottom. Oh, so. I also gave it a 4.75 because we didn't see any Oscar in this last episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it would have had true. Oscar. It would have totally. had an Oscar. Higher. We'd have all given it fives. <laughs> I got to give it a five. Like I said, I, I oh. thought, I, I think this is television streaming service movie whatever you want to whatever you want to call it i think this is perfection i i could not and i know you're saying well well season three like look well season three might be a five as well it doesn't necessarily have to go up it can just be season one was awesome two is awesome Mm. and uh i'm going into season three with full confidence that they are going to continue to deliver everybody involved in this series has proven time and time again that uh that they are absolutely on top of the world of tv and film and are delivering for of fans, reactors, and everybody else in such a major way. This is a five for me. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. Now we so wait. For now we wait. <laughs> and now we now we play the waiting game. So for Ableton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals, in 2026. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, come on.